Hey guys, so I didn't get a video of this, but I just installed this peel and stick backsplash. I didn't get a video because my camera died, of course. Um, this was actually really easy to do, and I love the way it turned out, and I can't believe I didn't mess it up. Well, not too bad anyway. I think it looks adorable. Um, a couple tips, I will say, if you have a 22 MLE or another RV and you're thinking about doing this. First of all, here's the aftermath. Bit of a mess. Couple things. I do recommend using a spray adhesive. I used this one and it worked awesome. One thing I really liked about it um, is that I could kind of reposition them. And these are tricky too, this backsplash, because it's Let's see if I can find a piece that's not been cut up. Well, they all have. But you have to line up like each individual scallop. So that can be tricky. One thing I learned the hard way, well, I guess it's a good thing. You, if you draw on these, they're like a plasticky, and they have dimension to them, which is cool. If you draw on these with a pen, like so, it actually comes off, thank God. What I recommend if anybody else is going to try this is it's all stuck together. They have a plastic that you take off, like a clear plastic. Of course, I can't get it off. There we go. Draw on that and don't draw on the tile. But if you do, the pen at least comes off. I just used a ruler, Australia, because I'm Australian. Um, and some scissors. I wish these were a little bigger, but they worked perfectly. So a pen, a ruler, some scissors, um, a little bit of time. Probably took me, let's see, it's almost nine o'clock. So probably took me almost an hour. Um, and the spray adhesive. One cool thing too is when you peel the plastic off, it, they're not sticky, but this like is non-skid. So what I did, this is the package, just like threw it on here and like it doesn't fall off and then spray the adhesive. This is just a paper backing. Spray the adhesive um, so you're not getting it all over your hands. Obviously do that outside. And then I just held them for a couple seconds um, onto the wall and they seem to be really, really good. Let's see, like this is a joint so you can see like it overlaps. And I thought it was gonna be really hard to line these up and it wasn't too bad. Like obviously they're not perfect, but like from here they look really good. So next up, I'll try to actually get a video. I'm going to be doing this subway in just this little area of the kitchen. Excuse the mess. I'm obviously still playing in here. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.